guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of Koi Monogatari. Alright, so, you know, I've been thinking about this ever since last week. I really want to know, what all is Kaiki gonna do? Besi I mean, because, like, with episode 2, we went a little more in-depth, and he got to see, um, in the quote, because I'm glad that they were able to talk, but I feel like... I don't know, like, I'm a little skeptical and wondering how in the world, like, whatever he's going to do in these, like, last four episodes for this arc going into Hana, I, I don't, I feel like nothing's going to work, honestly, like, I, I don't know, Kaiki kind of gives me the feels of, okay, he ain't gonna do shit. Like, honestly, I don't know why. It's just when I look at him, and I know he's doing, like, he's making up things um, towards her family and doing whatever he can to really find information, but I feel like by these last four episodes, he, he's gonna get stuff on her, but, like, not as much information that, you know, may relatively need to stop her, in a way. So, yeah, I feel like she's gonna die in Hana, but, like, I don't fucking know. I, I really don't. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 3. In 3, 2, 1, go. Change my mind. Like, honestly, I feel like he, he's not gonna do shit. Oh, you wanna make a report? We can't do this tomorrow. We got to do this at night. Better have some useful information. I swear to God. Okay, now is he gonna join in the song this time? Is it just gonna be him singing? Are they both gonna be singing today? I mean, you know, we'll see in a second. Nope, so just her. Right? It's natural. That's good. I mean, but also, if you would have warped, like, yeah, your casual style, that could have just, I don't matter what have been fine, but it's okay. Mm. Like McDonald's or something around here. It's a donut.
it's still where the you and not to go to odd, but you know, hey. Yeah, you want to go ahead and take that off? Because, I mean, you're inside. Like who? But yes, like, go ahead and tell your boyfriend. Like, honestly. He's your boyfriend and you want to tell him everything, right? I mean, I know that's something you don't want to tell your boyfriend because shit, I know that, but. I mean, girl, because I was like that too. <laughs> I'm still like that. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, so this is, okay, so this is later on in the day, okay? I figured this was, like, maybe two or three days later. About a couple hours ago, maybe. When it was, like, maybe almost dark. Or kind of around when it was getting dark. But not too dark. Well, yeah, we all know that. Yeah, that's really the only person she, like, trusted no matter what. I mean, it still feels like she trusted the Fire Sisters, but, I mean, no matter what, I got it. Because she loved them. I mean, there are some people in real life who really can't trust their families as well. But, yeah, no, because she says that she's not cute, even though I love her. She ain't my best girl, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because in a way, she doesn't really have to worry about her parents anymore. All that she's really thinking about is killing Agaragi and you and Shinobu in, like, several months. But... <laughs> Yeah, but okay, hold on, hold on. How much you think? <laughs> go, go, believe that shit. Come on now. Exactly. She probably got ways to check to see if they're alive. How can you be so sure about that?
Exactly. Because you know why? You just like freaking Valkan from Fire Force with that ish about Lisa. And how I sat here and said, how can you be so sure about that ish? And then some stupid idiot got mad at me for that crap. You can't predict the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Mm -mm. I mean, could you know, look at her. This is the same cute little girl. Not really. <laughs> child, you know, who used to be, you know, adorable, but I, you know, I, this girl is just gonna kill. She is going to brutally stab these three so much that, like, blood is gonna come out spewing, and then she's gonna dance in circles of rain. Girl, how though? I mean, because, see, the thing is, y'all ain't showing that. And we got, like, less than three episodes left before this arc is done. So at least I'm hoping that, like, in Hana, you at least show something. Yeah. But in a way, you really don't want your boyfriend to choose between you and some other girl. Hell, not even between you and his mom. Like, no. Don't do that. Boys, girls who are watching this, don't do that. Don't do that to your significant other. Like, that's wrong. If you do that to them, then you don't really need to be in a relationship. I wasn't expecting you to be in this heart, but okay, you do a baby thing oh my god.
to make with me as a message for her. I don't realize that. Okay. But still, it's a message for her. You know, oh no, no, okay, my baby. You know, he Kaiki is not going to listen to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm so fucking lit. You are not going to kick the shit out of her. No. Yes. I mean, I understand why Guyan wanted, you know, her to come and talk to him, but I think it would have been better if like, she came, you know? Because we barely see her or unless she's still dealing with the ish that happened in the previous arc with, um, Mayoi. Oh, that hurt. I didn't want to talk about Mayoi today. Mm -hmm. See, uh, uh, right there, you should fucking stop. They're just gonna go out of the back Serious? No, that's a lie. That is a motherfucking lie. Yeah. And I think if Diane would have came and talked to him instead, they probably would have fought. <laughs> She's so bad, guys. She's so fucking adorable. You can't. 
just voiced my car. I'm like, oh my god. Not even Kana. She's voiced by Mayuri. And I don't want anything to happen to her. I really don't. I swear to god. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. Oh my child! What did you practice with? Oh. But then, hold up, wait. What if he touches it and then like something happens? Like, can we think about that real quick? One hundred percent. I mean, you right on the money, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause who else will follow you? Even after Onanoki told you not to like really just stop, and you were like, yeah, and then like fuck it, no, I'm gonna continue. Okay. Which was? Oh, Dude, you're really gonna break in that house? Oh, well, fuck it. Still can't leave the keeper room to me. Oh, so go, yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Let me see. I gotta wait until episode four to see, right? Or you're gonna wait until episode five or six to show me what the fuck was in that closet, right? You're gonna be like Attack of Titan for this art, like this art, aren't you? You're just gonna make me wait. I don't like waiting. I'm a very impatient person. <laughs> I hate waiting. Okay, so, you know what? I am going to take back what I said at the beginning of the episode about thinking that Kaiki, you know, honestly wasn't going to have any information, like, between this episode and the next, but he really did. And still, even though he is not my favorite character out of this, out of all these characters, I still somewhat can trust him. It's just, you know, I feel like there's going to be a moment where he is going to fuck up. I don't know when. It could be in the next three episodes and such. But I, I like how he talked to my best girl. My other two, my other best girl. That was interesting. I still would have liked Gaia to come in this. And I know that she's dealing with other things. And, you know, the fact is that, yes, I miss my daughter, Mayo, and I want her to come back. Um... And I'm guessing whatever is going to happen in Hana, that might make her come back. I have no clue. But I, I just, it feels weird not to have her here still. We're officially three episodes into this freaking arc, going into four, and she's not here. And I mean, I yes, I get it. The fact is that it's not about her. 
It's literally about the relationship of both Kaiki and Senjo Hara and dealing with other people. Still, I want to see both Senjo Hara and Akaragi Kun hanging out and everything, but we're probably not going to see that until Hana, which is a little freaking fucked up to me because I w this is what I was expecting where it was going to be half Kaiki, half Senjo Hara, them, you know, him doing the things that he has to do to get the information on Nidago. And then, you know, Sandra had a deceiving um, Agaragi and, like, making things up the, as much as she can until one day, somehow, some mishap is going to happen. And Agaragi Kun is going to find out the truth of what the freak happened during this art. But it, it's just so weird because I'm like, I, like, in my opinion, I feel like when we get into Hana, I feel like they're going to go back a couple of moments and they're like, okay, here's everything, I, you know, Sandra Hada and Agaragi Kun did. Well, Kaiki was doing his stuff. I don't think they're going to show, like, the, you know, them being together on New Year's and such. I think they're just going to do, like, kind of really fast forward it through it real quick where it's, like, everything, like, a <laughs> big old mashup and it's, like, and stuff. And then if you blink, you miss everything. And then it's, like, okay, let's just get the damn show started. But I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, like, I really wanted to see these two together, especially during, like, these last few, you know, months and moments before they supposedly quote unquote die even though like there is no way in hell like you know these three including Shinobu are going to freaking die like there's going they're gonna not they're not gonna go down without a fight so it's gonna be fine it's just we're you know I, I, I do I want to say I'm kind of stressed about this a little bit I am because with Kaiki finding all this information and trying to do everything to deceive Nautical and gaining her dress every sort of episode and how he was like oh she's not gonna find out but then i'm sitting here like but what if she is like come on man like think about this like even though yes like the the you know the story is already done everything's been written written down ish but like that's the same thing with fire force how can you be 100 or a thousand or twenty thousand thirty thousand nine thousand I don't care the highest number in the godforsaken universe. How can you be so freaking sure that she's not going to get to see, that she's really going to believe this? That's the same thing I said about freaking Volkan and Fire Force. And like I said, dude got pissed about me over that. And it's like, hold on. I'm not reading manga. I'm not reading the light novel for this ish. So as an anime only person coming into this series, I have to ask certain questions that I'm not going to probably get to the answer to until later on in the dang series. I just really need to say that because it's the, it's the little things that I'm wondering about that even though we may not get to see it now, we may not get to see it in episode 3, but we may get to see it in like the last two episodes of the dang arc or season and then you're going to have someone who's going to be a freaking idiot and be like, hmm, 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 remember that shit that I told you in this? Hi, you need to kind of take that back. And then sometimes I just want to be like, you know what, shut the fuck up. Like, just shut up. That's it. Like, you, you fucking are irrelevant with your bitch ass. But, like, seriously, how can you be 100% sure on that ish? I feel like something's gonna happen, and she's gonna be like, well, you deceived me the entire time, so you also have to die. So, I don't know. I mean, there might be four people dead in this next freaking arc. I don't know. It, it's just, ugh. I don't know. And I'm just going to say that. I feel like four people are going to die. That's it. That's the end of this episode. I still loved it, though. I mean, you know, Kaiki is a very... <laughs> and I'm going to say this with quotes. Entertaining character. He's very different between her, him and freaking Oshino's niece, which I'm still wondering. Like, I, I kept thinking, like, going into, like, episode one and episode two and now officially into episode three. And I thought she was going to be in this arc. Ultimately, I was like, oh, we might see, like, what she's possibly doing. There's points where I'm thinking this girl, <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to choke, um, possibly is working with Guyan or something, maybe. I don't know. Or she's working with somebody close enough into, like, all these people who, you know, also know Oshino. So, I mean, I'm like, damn, it's like, girl, I really want her to just go ahead and say, hey, this is what I do as a job, you know. You can hate me for it, you can love me for it, but this is what the fuck I do. But I'm guessing we're not really going to see that until this last season. And, I mean, I've been waiting for this for, like, several weeks now. And, I mean, I ain't going to say that I have the right to know, but yes, I have the right to know what in the world this character does. Because she, she just seems the most, quote-unquote, normal out of 
everybody in this and something just looking at her the way she like she's designed and everything and because she looks so out of place from everybody and it's so freaking weird because if you look at everyone else and you look at her she like oh my god oh my god i'm trying to think you know what she reminds me of like okay if any of you have seen the show um the freaking cartoon from nickelodeon i think it's like chalk zone or whatever you know how like you have the two the freaking like rudy and whatever the black girl's character name was and um then you know like the characters that shot that is her she is that character because she is so different from everybody else and you're looking at her and you're looking at everybody else and you be like hmm something about this girl is not really right to me i don't know i mean <laughs> i've been wanting to know for so many weeks now and i hate the fact that like one minute it's like we're almost there and then the next minute it's like hey we're gonna skip past this part and we're gonna go on to you know other important things like everything about this show is important as hell like don't get me wrong there's no like arc or even things that they say or a character that is not as important everybody is important for so many different reasons because everything that each of these characters go through in so many different arcs leads to like a beginning middle and end and this second season is that kind of like still a little bit in the beginning more of like the revolution or like the climax not really the like, climax climax is like season three but just like learning more about them and like okay here's the middle section of everything but i don't know i just <laughs> i just want to know everything about her and it's just weird how she's not really in this arc but yeah okay go ahead and pause that <laughs> pause the video thank you for listening to my rant and i will see you guys in one second for episode four Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. Somebody was in your room. Because I don't think you left that on the floor or whatever it is, like a paper or some shit, or a letter. Stay out of it. Let's see, Doug, that's a worn letter. Get the fuck out. That's guy I'm sending you that shit. Probably a lot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but some people can. You know, people can break into people's rooms and houses and everything. I mean, it's not that hard. I don't know how to do it. I'm okay. I'm done ranting for the day. <laughs> but just so I'm really pissed about it. And it's just like, I want to know. But then it's like, no. Oh, finally. I 
know, this is literally like a booty call. Did anyone ever get in the water? God, it's been so long that I, mean, I can't even answer that myself. I would literally have to go back and look, but I think no one did. But then it's possible, like, yeah. Of course. Because Guy and Anononoki came in, like, after the Nautico stuff. Like, really around the fire sister thing. Yeah. Guy and talked to Hanekawa. Yeah, see, you know what, that's why he, he should have talked to me last episode, but... Mm -hmm. Well, shit. Mm-hmm. 
Man, because technically she's almost an adult, and you know, she will be considerably an adult because by the time she's graduating. Yeah. I mean, because because of the fact that the person that was probably telling you in the last episode, I just found out where you were staying, and then you know when you were not there with that paper on that paper. Put the slip message in there and then bam. Leave me alone. Go lay down. Yeah, plus you have enemies in the sound, so. Well, apparently she doesn't. So, if you're on your own. No, I don't think so either. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might when she sees the handwritten, you know, the handwriting. God damn. I mean, you could have at least taken a picture of it and then, like, crumbled it off and then, like, fuck it. God damn it, Kaiki. See, this is why I'm like you. I mean, you know, yeah, I understand it's smart to rip up paper that you don't really need anymore, but, like, god dang. But it's got to be someone who, you know, maybe Guyan sent after him because of the fact that he's not staying out of it as he, you know, supposedly told on an okay, but I don't know. Mm. 
Jesus. I'm thinking we already passed maybe like the first week of January. I'm thinking we like on the second week. God. Oh, it looks so good. I'm hungry again. True. Oh my god, child. <laughs> <laughs> Beer is gross. Well, beer is gross. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, you can make like the Eiffel Tower. Um, pfft, I don't know what else you can make. I haven't played with one of those in a long. <gasps> Girl, I I kept thinking mm, you ain't gonna show up until like the last two episodes. I'm still look so pretty with your hair like that. Uh. Yeah, because you two have never talked before. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you've been in hiding ever since.
So then, no, that was her handwriting. Mm hmm. Makes the most sense. No. No, I'm changing my mind on that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, you're going to be there that day. Because Oshino ain't going to be there. Mm, Oshino's not going to be there because you know he's still MIA. Neither, you know, is Kaiki. Because Kaiki, you know, he's not in that trailer either. Okay. You mother. Oh God! I hate when this show does this. Like, oh my God! It gets so good and have it's it's weird to see these two together because, I mean, I think when I was watching the first two episodes of this arc, I had always wondered like what those two would have been like, and now seeing them together, it's just over weird to me. But it's interesting because I think these are the two people that I really wanted to see talk and communicate because we've already seen him communicate with Sanjahata and Agaraki and she was, in my opinion, the only one. Comedy or not really, because, I mean, I feel like Comedy, she may have talked to him before this arc is over because she's also going to be in the next arc when it comes up because she was in that trailer as well. But I don't know, I mean, like, something about it just feels weird. I just never would have thought that these two as of now would have been able to talk and it had to be her who wrote that letter. If it wasn't her, then who else was it? Because I think that's her handwriting, essentially. And I'm guessing that's the reason why. No, that can't be the reason why. That wasn't the reason why he tore it. He just tore it, just tore it up and I get that. But I don't know what else to say about this episode. It was good as fuck. It went by too freaking quickly, though. But I'm scared. <laughs> I, I'm just scared shitless. And I just wanted to wonder. I'm wondering how the heck these last two episodes are going to end. It, to me, I feel like it's going to end really abruptly going into Hana. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. But I don't want it to be like leaving. If we get to the last episode... We kind of get, like, a little resolve into it, but then they kind of leave it on a cliffhanger, and then we go into, like, Hana, and then it's like, okay, here's what happened, like, previously, oh, my God, whatever, and such. I, I just feel like it's going to be, to it's going to take place within the same time, but we're just going to see everything more of in Sinjahada's POV, even though this whole, because, like, I think I just say this in episode one, because I was assuming that this whole, like, six episodes would have been her POV, 
But, you know, it's a Kaiki, and Kaiki doing the ish. I mean, I, I didn't really think that he was going to really bring that sake, sake to her. I really wanted her to kind of drink it and see how she would have, like, tasted it. Because, you know, I mean, yes, even though she's a god and, and stuff, but she, and, like, when you look at her and the way she looks, she's a teenager and stuff. And so you wonder, like, oh, yeah, teenage drinking, how's that going to go? You're like, you know, you really like that and stuff. Is that really good? But, ugh, God. I just, in the back of my mind, the way I, I feel so tense and how cold I feel right now, because I'm about to turn my heater on in a couple of minutes, I, I feel like something, it, it's not, it, something's going to go wrong. I'm going to feel so deceived by these last two episodes that it's not going to be funny. It's just that chill I have, the pit in my stomach, the way I feel right now, like, it's just going to take a turn for the worse. And everything that both Sanjohara and Kaiki have been planning, it's just going to go abruptly fucked up. And, you know, either Agaraki or Nadeko are going to see through them. I don't know, because, I mean, we're now on the 4th of January, which, assuming, I'm thinking, like, okay, we might be, like, slowly but surely getting, you know, to February and stuff. I'm guessing, like, um, the rest of this arc is going to be the rest of January, and then maybe the first, I don't know how long Hana is. I'm guessing Hana is a little bit longer than Koi. Um, it'll go like, okay, here's like all of February for maybe like the first two or three episodes. And then the other three or however many episodes are in this next arc will go into March. March. Yeah, yeah, March. I don't know. I just, I'm nervous. <laughs> Not in a good way. We're in a bad way. I just don't want anything to happen to my precious like kids <laughs> and I'm just like uh I want Kaiki to just be able to help them as much as he can but what the fact is that you know um the shit with Guyan and then like I like assuming that that had to be Hanukawa was the one who wrote that because it, it seemed like that looked like her handwriting in my opinion but I think I ain't gonna know until like when this comes out on Friday if everybody else is Patreon to tell me the answer for it or if I could necessarily go back and look myself um, but, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this episode, which is it was, it was good. But I'm finally happy that, you know, Hanekawa finally came, because it just would have felt so weird if we would have went into 5 and 6, and she didn't make an appearance, like, ultimately. Because I was like, yeah, she's in that trailer. All of them are there. So now it's like, is Kamaru gonna also make an appearance, you know? Even though, yeah, Kaiki talked about her in the first two episodes, but it's like, is she actually going to have be there, talk to Kaiki for, you know, maybe like a couple of minutes or whatever, maybe even a day. And then eventually, you know, all these, you know, it's, it's literally going to be the Avengers versus Thanos in this next arc. And honestly, you know, yeah, wouldn't you be scared about that? Because, I mean, I am. And it's just, girl, I, I just don't want them to kill this girl because I love her too damn much. She's so adorable. Even though she's like, yeah, I'm not cute. I'm like, oh, I can't. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 3 and 4 of Koi Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for the Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the finale to see how in the world, you know, Kaiki is going to be able to deceive Nediko if everything's really going to personally work out, even though, in my opinion, I feel like it's not. Um, and then after that, we'll finally get to see the moment in the following week after, you know, the finale of this, where, you know, if my daughter is going to kill Levi, because Levi's not going to die. We all know that. Levi Yato, any of the characters, you know, I got a actor has played. He's not going to die. Like, if he died, there would literally be no show. I mean, no, there would be because you have the rest of these females, but... I don't know how it would be, but yeah, she ain't gonna die. Come on now. No, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.